Hello! Today I'm going to do a video on green spotted puffer fish. So if you are at Walmart or anywhere and are thinking about purchasing a green spotted puffer, I would recommend watching this video first. Um, I did the same thing. I was at Walmart. I saw how badly the puffers were being taken care of and I took one home. I read the little tag under their tank said that they could be fresh water, could eat flakes, and could be in a community tank. And that is completely wrong. So in this video, I'm going to tell you their diet, their tank requirements, and the tank mates that they can have. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. And I'm going to put a material list right here of things you're going to need to have a green spotted puffer. So yeah, thanks. Okay, sorry about the noise, it just started raining, but it's not too bad yet. But let's first talk about their diet. So green spotted puffers need meat-based diets. So you can't just feed them like flakes, like tropical flakes, that's not going to work. They need to have, they're not going to eat that, they need to have meat-based diets. So first of all, this is what I feed mine most of the time, freeze-dried krill. On the back, you can see that it says 60% of their crude protein. That's a really high percentage. That's really good for them. Um, yeah, I use Omega-1. It doesn't matter the brand. Next, I use Sally's Bloodworms. I basically just put these into a syringe and give them to them. But I don't feed, I don't feed Bloodworms every single day. They only have 3.5%. Um, crude protein which isn't very much so yeah the next and most important is live snails I keep my live snails in this like extra little jar and this is extremely important in the diet of a puffer fish they need to have live snails at least twice a week they eat the snail part but then they also eat the shell which is super important the shell grinds down their teeth and their teeth never stop growing so if they don't eat these their teeth are going to grow too long and you're going to have some major problems they won't be able to eat so yeah that is very important and the other thing you can feed your puffer is like live shrimp and they will love that it's kind of like eating potato chips for them but it gives them like the prey drive and um, it's just very good for their stimulation it's not really nutritionally like amazing but like it doesn't provide them with much but it's not bad for them it's good so yeah Okay, so next I'm going to talk about the tank requirements for a green spotted puffer fish. Um, this right here is my tank. Um, each green spotted puffer needs at least 30 gallons of water. So for two, you're going to need to have 60 gallons and so on. Um, yeah, larger tanks are always great, but 30 gallons is the minimum. Um, you're also going to want to have a large filter on your tank. These fish are very dirty, they're very messy eaters, so you're going to want to have a filter that's going to filter out more water than your tank. Um, like needs and you also need to have a heater in there they like to have their water around 78 to 82 degrees and you're gonna want a heater that's gonna be 5 watts per gallon so you're gonna want a heater that's about 150 watts um, next thing the substrate that I have in here is I use the Carib Sea African Cichlid Mix this is a really good substrate for them you do not want to have gravel because they're very messy eaters and when they try to eat off the ground the gravel can get into their mouth and they can choke and they will die. That is not a good substrate for them. You want to have sand so that when they try and eat like the snails or whatnot off the ground they're going to filter the sand out and it's going to be fine. Um, this is a great one because it raises the pH of the water and green spotted puffer fish like to have a high pH which is a, around 7.5 to 8.5 so that's pretty high um, they like to have high pH um, the next thing you're gonna need you'll need this for any fish you get you're gonna need stress coat you want to use this is the one I use you want to use 
stress coat every time you do a water change or every time you add new fish or anything stressful you want to add stress coat it dechlorinates the water and it has aloe vera in it so it's going to um, make them less stressed and yeah and every time you do a, a water change you're going to want to use this it's called bacteria supplement it's also called stress sign and it puts good pack bacteria into the water that they need so you want to do that every time you do a water change or add new water anything like that um, the next thing you're gonna need marine salt these fish are brackish fish which is where the river meets the sea so it's like half salt water basically so you need instant ocean well you don't need this brand but marine salt basically a lot of people think you can just do aquarium salt and that's going to be fine that is not fine this is for freshwater fish you do not you do not want to use this instead of marine salt you need marine salt not aquarium salt so when you put your marine salt in there you if you bought your puffers as fresh water you're going to want to transition them slowly you don't want to stress them out and just completely put like a ton of salt in there you're, but once you fully transition them to brackish, you're going to want to do half of what it says on here because basically it's half salt water fish. So yeah, you're going to want to do half of that. So then the next thing you're going to need, it's called a hydrometer. This is the one that I use. Um, it measures the salinity of the water, so you're going to know how much salt is in there. So for puffer fish, you want them to be around 1.005 to 1.008. That is brackish water. So mine right now, I am in the transitioning mode. So they're not fully brackish yet. They're at 1.004, so they have a little way to go. But yeah, you want it to be around 1.008. That's brackish water. Okay, so the next thing you need are decorations. You need places for them to hide. So this is my favorite thing for them. They love to go through this. You can get this at like any pet store. Um, yeah, they love those. They'll swim through them all the time, but basically you just need places for them to hide. They love to hide. They get bored very easily, so they need lots of decorations. The next thing is live plants. This one's dead, but I put it in here too long. But you want live plants um, that are good for brackish water, that can survive in brackish water. Um, they like live plants, they eat them, so if you have plastic plants, they're going to choke, or if plastic plants are just not good for puffers. You want live plants. Um, and you want it to be heavily planted, because again, they get bored, um, and they love live plants. So some of my recommendations for live plants that are good for brackish water are Temple Compacta, which are these guys right here, Banana plants, which are this and this. Anacharis, which are all the big ones in there. And there's a few more. Um, but yeah, if you get some of those, you're going to want to get um, like some fertilizer for them. I can do a video on like how to take care of live plants if you want. I don't know. Um, and they also like to have this light on about 12 hours a day. You don't want to have it on too long, but 12 hours a day is pretty good um, for the puffers. Okay, so last I want to talk about tank mates. These guys should not be in a community tank. They're way too aggressive, they nip fins, they just should not be in a community tank. The only success I've heard is with a bumblebee goby. They are also brackish and I've heard success with them, but that's the only ones. So that's basically it for the puffers. I hope this video helped. Um, yeah, so just leave some recommendations for some more videos for me down in the comments. If I didn't answer all your questions about puffer fish, then just leave me some questions in the comments. I can answer more questions. Um, click the subscribe button for me. I still don't have too many subscribers. Um, 
yeah so thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time bye